Uh, this is one that is really, really startling. Did you know that one in every five Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancer at some point in their life? And then listen to this one. Every hour of every day, one American passes from melanoma. It is one of the deadliest skin cancers out there. And to talk more about that and possible things we can do, let's go ahead and bring in Dr. Nicole Tuckman. Dr. Tuckman, good morning. How are you today? Hi, good morning. Good. How are you? I'm well. And, you know, I'm one of those. I've, I'm covered in moles. I've had several removed. Several have come back and had to go back in. But yet we still kind of don't think about skin cancer is something that is is so deadly to so many Americans. I mean, what do you think when you see these numbers? Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. I see it in my office all the time. About 20% of people will develop some type of skin cancer. Um, those are the statistics. It might even be more than that. Certainly in certain populations, certain ethnicities, they'll see even higher numbers than that. But um, with melanoma, I mean, last year alone, there were about over 200,000 new cases and over 7,000 deaths. And the unfortunate thing with melanoma is if you catch it early, there's over 99% survival rate. So this is really something treatable, almost curable. But in later stages, those numbers really plummet precipitously. And it's just so important to catch these lesions earlier on. Oh, for sure. You know, Dr. Tuckman, one of the things that I was saying that I'm just surprised and maybe I feel so surprised when we talk about these numbers, because there's a lot of myths out there that deal with melanoma. What are some of those myths that you see in your office that you'd like to use this time to debunk for us? Yeah, I think a big one is people feel, you know, I've already done the damage, like there's nothing else I can do at this point, so I might as well just sit out some more. And that's completely not true. Um, about 20% of sun damage is done in childhood, so before the age of 20. But really, every decade afterwards, it's about another 10%. So while, you know, it's great to start earlier on, there's really never a time that's too late to start. You can always prevent more damage, um, and the earlier the better. And I already am an open book on this one. I've talked about getting my moles checked. It is like a full-time job for my dermatologist because I have so many. And it's one of those things that's just kind of like a pain, but you got to do it. Is there an easier way to maybe get your moles checked? So getting the moles checked is great, and it's great that you're doing that. I think a lot of people avoid doing that because they're so nervous about getting a biopsy. They're nervous about a scar, about the pain associated with it, understandably. So DermTech has actually come out with a new type of test that is completely painless. It's, it's basically a sticker, and the sticker is applied to any type of mole that's suspicious or concerning, and you're able to actually extract enough genetic information using a sticker to see if that mole is indeed, you know, concerning or even is a melanoma. And what's amazing is a lot of times you don't really see changes in a mole, but you can already start to see genetic changes. So you can really catch those lesions even before they've turned into a melanoma, which just when it comes to survival rates just is pretty incredible because it makes that, you know, basically 